Hi, I'm Tammy, and this is my niece. Hi, I'm Clara, and this is our story. Over two years ago, back in 2019, I was diagnosed with kidney failure. Um, I ended up in the hospital for a couple weeks and went straight into dialysis. Um, it's long and grueling and a horrible, horrible situation. I would never wish it on anyone. Um, so I went through dialysis for a year, and then that's where Clara came in because I needed a transplant, and she with the heart that she has, just went out and seen if she was a match, and she was. They do a lot of tests um, to lot of figure tests. out, yeah, if you are a match. Um, they tell you, you know, if <laughs> if there's anything wrong with you, they'll find it during these tests, because um, that's how um, in-depth they are. Um, and that's what we loved about Christ, was that they were so sure. Um, they wouldn't let you do it um, if you just had anything that would cause you to not be a good fit. Um, so I started my workup, I think in July, and I found out in August um, that I was a match. Then it went very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> At first, I was concerned because she is so young. And, um, you know, not many 26-year-olds say, here, take my kidney. <laughs> so I was, um, I was really shocked that someone so young had such a hard to be willing to do something like this. I, uh, throughout the whole process, was pretty emotionally overwhelmed with just the potential that there was that I would be able to do something like this for somebody, especially my aunt. Um, she's been more like a mom to me my entire life. Um, so the whole process was, it was long, but it was quick at the same time. Um, because every moment I was just, in every next step, I was one step closer to being able to uh, give to her something that would save her life. There was at any point in my experience where I had any doubt. Um, I think that came from the Lord, to be honest. Um, I had no fears. It was kind of like a no-brainer, like, my aunt needs a kidney. Like, do you want to step up and donate yours and I said well I don't I don't need both of them so why not um yeah I mean I just had no doubts throughout this whole experience I think it might have scared people a little bit how confident I was um, she really was you were so confident I was like my goodness but this whole situation had been bathed in prayer for years mm -hmm. I mean it was just bathed in prayer and mm -hmm. once you know people I had a whole community and different churches and different friends and family just praying constantly. And once they found out Claire was a match, you know, they were praying for her that it would work and that mm -hmm. she would be okay. And so it was just a, it was a God thing and it's so humbling and it's such a blessing. Yeah. Surgery went really well. My recovery went well, it went really well. It's absolutely a miracle. And I would highly recommend to anybody to be an organ donor. Um, even sign up for when you die because there's so many people out there that could continue their life and have a full functioning life like I do now with a donation, an organ donation. And um, live donors work best, mm -hmm. but you know, even if you're not a live donor, it's, it's a miracle. What advice would you give to people who are still waiting for a kidney? Just keep waiting. Um, don't give up. Don't um, don't ever give up. The people at the hospital, they care about you. They're willing to do everything they can for you. Um, you've got a great support team. If you've got family members or friends, put it put the word out there. Ask for a do live donor. If not, um, give it to God. Let you know. That's that's the only thing I could do at that point. My life had completely changed. It was. I mean, my life wasn't mine anymore. The dialysis and the, the renal failure took over. Mm. And um, I just, the only thing I knew to do was pray and give it to God. And I knew that God would work it out somehow, um, that I would get through it. And if I didn't, then it was time for me to go home. And he did. He put this beautiful young woman in my life many, many years ago. And she saved my life. My husband calls her his hero. 
We really wanted to make this just to inspire people, um, but specifically I wanted to inspire people that if you can be a living organ donor, it is the biggest blessing in the entire world. Um, it's an extremely humbling experience um, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, it, it has changed my life um, and I, I now call myself One Kidney Clara because of it, so that's really fun. <laughs> and I have three. Yeah. <laughs> Two in the back and one here in the front, which yep. is hers. Yep. So I carry her with me everywhere I go. Yep. It's been six, seven months now. Uh, well, we're actually recording this on our six month anniversary. I don't know if you oh, knew that. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Happy six months. Yeah. <laughs> it's been six months. Yep. So, um, and I can't even tell that I've had a transplant. I'm a whole new person yeah. and my life is, I'm able to live my life again, thanks to her.